just feels like 200 degrees. Oh my god. These tips are our lifesaver. And of course water. Cheers. Do not watch this video if you are an adrenaline junkie, nature enthusiast, or in a club of hikers hardcore. Kudos to you if you are, but this video is only for my fun-loving, hungry foodies who want to balance exploration with recreation when visiting the Arches National Park. Hey, you're on vacation, right? You don't have to be miserable suffering all the steep trails and long lines under Utah's blistering sun. Instead, get just the right amount of wows and oohs and cheat your way to the delicate arch, chomp down Moab's delicious food and quench your thirst with local beer. Here, I check out the Arches National Park and eat at local favorite restaurants and breweries in Moab, Utah. That rock looks like it's giving a middle finger. Hi, baby. Would you like a little miss? Oh, nice. Oh, okay. It has a shape of an eye. September is the best time to visit the arches. You can check out most of them in a day, they said. Sweat dripping on the verge of a heat stroke, I barely managed to climb the north and south windows and the turret arches, an area considered to be the most scenic location in the park. In the desert heat, it's hard to realize you're staring at the largest cluster of arches in the world, 2,000 of them. You think, wow, these arches look massive, rock solid. But as we all know, looks can be pretty deceiving. Turns out, the arches are made from a very soft sandstone, which makes them awfully vulnerable to wind, water, earthquakes, helicopters, even me climbing. These flat, low arches are much more likely to fall than the tall ones. 43 have already collapsed. So keep in mind, they can fall a thousand years from now or the day you visit. Yeah, we're Mongolian. We're in Los Angeles. Oh, I'm in Las Vegas. Irina lives in Moscow. We're in Canyon Lands. We're in Canyon Lands. We're in Canyon Lands. Where are we? Capital Reef. No, first the Goblin Valley, then Capital Reef. It was nice to see you. Someone mentioned Margarita in the parking lot before we got here. And since then, I cannot stop thinking about that cold, frozen margarita just hitting my mouth. It's right there. Oh my god. One guy who was holding this uh, spray with water, that really helps a lot. Also, you should definitely bring an umbrella or a hat. You know, I'm not experienced at all, so these tips are a lifesaver. And of course, water. We've seen that arch. Maybe it will look familiar to you because it's on Utah's license plate. I'm pretty sure if we even get closer, it's like huge. Oh, I can see people walking by. They look like ants. I decided not to hike to Delicate Arch because it's like three miles of hiking in this crazy temperature. It feels, the temperature says it's around like 90, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, but then it just feels like 200 degrees because it's a desert climate. The sun I'm a whiner so when it comes to hiking. I rant, complain, get hangry. So when I found out I'll need to trudge the desert for three long miles to see the delicate arch, the most famous one adorning Utah license plates, I said, no, thank you. Instead, I drove to the delicate arch viewpoint, walked a few steps and poured myself some well-deserved wine. Imagine the miserable line of people trying to take a photo underneath. 
Here, you've got some solitude and time to make reservations at the Trailhead Public House. You know what? Let's just... <sighs> Cheers. Oh, wow. Now we're talking. <laughs> I pay for you, man. Thank you. I'm arguing for you. Ah, so good. Ah. Oh, wow. I can see things clearly now. The newest restaurant in Moab in the oldest building, Trailhead Public House and Eatery. It's a gastropub with fresh ingredients in the middle of a desert. You'll feel like you're somewhere in California, devouring terrific salads with huge portions, macho nachos, smoky wagyu burgers. They just have an amazing menu to describe as Southwest comfort. Having opened during the pandemic, it gets an A for resilience and well-earned Yelp reviews. Ah. Ooh, so juicy. Mm. I'm okay. Oh, yeah. I'm okay with my salad. <laughs> I'm like salivating, but I'm okay. Let's be smart. And I wanted to order some more at the same time. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get two at the same time. But the server said no. Also, the interesting thing was that in Utah, you can't order double shots of whiskey or double tequila shots or like cocktails. You know, make it with a double shot, make it stronger. They can't do it. Utah gets a bad rep for having weak beer. Being a super religious Mormon country, Utah can't give you beer stronger than 5%. But in this weather, you'll want to drink beer as if it's holy water. At Moab Brewery, you'll keep chugging draft ales, stouts, and pilsners. But if you want killer ones, you can get 10% IPAs from canned or bottled ones. Or you can even try their house-made vodka or gin. And trust me, you'll want to drink up because liquor stores close as early as 7 p.m. and are closed on Sundays and holidays. Plus, do not forget your ID. It really doesn't matter how gray your hair is. In the 1990s, Woody's Tavern had a reputation and it wasn't for its live music. There were drugs, fighting, and people up to no good. Now, it's a local favorite dive bar. But in August of 2021, its past came haunting it when local newlyweds went missing after a night out at Woody's. Later, the police found them shot to death at their campsite. The killer still remains at large. And weirdly, this happened right about the same time Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry were at the Arches National Park. I romanticize diners. It's hard to look at them with cold indifference when you grow up watching a robbery gone wrong in Pulp Fiction or the Reservoir Dogs having breakfast before their planned heist. Great moments of American cinema all captured in diners. So I went to the Moab Diner with retro posters calling you to get banana splits and sundaes, attentive aunts that keep refilling your coffee, worn out leather booths and Wild West in the background? It doesn't get more American than this. 